hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is susan so today's video we're going to be doing a walkthrough on gig pay virtual dollar card app so this app is is an easy one to create and i'm going to be doing a walkthrough with you guys so before you're asking if gpay is this, this is, gig pay is a virtual dollar card that you can use to make payments across all platform and this at this the reason why i'm doing this is because it is unique other than the one I because you can use gig pay to receive your as a youtuber you can use gig pay to receive your youtube earnings you can use gig pay to receive money from paypal you can use gig pay to receive money from pioneer you can use gig pay to receive money from upwork and the rest so if you're interested in this kind of video or you're interested in this in this payment flat platform stick around and watch this video to the end so we are going to sign up into a new account the first thing you have to do is to put your phone number here let me quickly type my phone number if you're interested in this app you can as well do the follow-up with me go along with me as i get mine done then a verification code will be sent into your no mobile number you quickly insert that code on here because you have like a few seconds to go before the code expires so trying to sign up was taking a lot of time like they were taking a lot of time they couldn't send they, they they still haven't sent the sign up code to my phone number so i had to go back to my login but because i know the process i'm just going to be walking you guys through after your number gets in the verification good um, after the one time password gets into your phone your sms you impute it and you put on um verify phone number once your phone number is verified, you will get into this next page here where they say welcome. Let's get started with your free account. Your legal name, you put your name as it is on your ID card. If you're going to be using your driver's license to verify, that name on your driver's license has to be corresponding with the name you're going to put here. If you're going to use your international passport, your NIN or whatever means of identification that is verified in Nigeria that you're going to use has to correspond with the name you're going to put here. Then email address, you put your email address, your date of birth, your occupation. If you are a content creator, you put content, um, if you are a content creator, you slide, you go through every information, all the list of occupation there and you type, you click on order. Then when you click on order, you type content creation. If you're a freelancer, you do the same thing. Go scroll down, click on order and type freelancer. Whatever occupation you have, um, you're doing, if the name is not listed on their drop down, you can impute it when you type or you click on order. So after that is done, you come to the next page where you see welcome. Let's get you started with your free account. Create your password. And this password, you have to have a very strong password. You need to have like signs, caps, um, numbers. So you have to have every one of these things on your um, password. So once that is done, you will come into your GPay, your GigPay account, and you see the account information there. And the important thing I wanted to show you guys is the verification. I couldn't get it done because um, they refused to verify my phone number. So I had to log into my account, but I'm just going to explain it to you. You will need to verify your home address, which you can use your bank statement to do that. I used my bank statement. My UBA has the same address that I have on my that i used to sign up the application it was reflecting on my uba bank statement and you need a bank statement of at least three months one to three months between that or three months may i used a recent bank statement Sha, the one they sent to me last month that was what i used so they verified the address they verified my my means of identification was the most difficult thing to do you need to have your means of identification handy if it is an NIN that you're going to use, you need to have your NIN card. The card, not the slip, the card. You need to hold it on your hand because they will verify it with their, uh, your, their, is it their code, their, whatever. The, this screen, this camera screen, they have it. You will take a picture of the card and they will verify it. And you also take a picture of the back of the card with, that has the code, the back code on it. That's the reason why I say you need your NIN card. But for the international passport, I don't think you need that. You just need to snap the picture in front of it and show them. 
but if you're using a card you will need to verify the back of the card as well as the front of the card and after you've done that that thing takes time you need to be under a direct sunlight because the camera they have has direct um, automatic um lights that light that comes out from camera so it's always um captures on the screen of the the card so it took me like five or four different tries before i got mine done and when you get yours done you may not know that it is done when you see when you get yours done there's usually a a sign that shows that that, that you, you write um can you read the information on your card that's when you know that you are done then if you see that yeah, you can read you will see yeah you can go now go back to where you have, you started you know that you are done with that but you may not know and you may keep trying that's what i wanted to do this for you guys to see but anyway since we cannot get that done once you sign in once you've done all the verification you're going to verify your face and that so once you're done with all of that you can you will now see this screen that says hello like you can see my name here this is the money i wanted to to do this thing but anyway you can see everything is zero 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 dollars this is you can this you can get a us account so when you come on to get virtual dollar card instantly you can see that you can put the name you want for your virtual dollar card as you can see from the description from here you can see if you want a mastercard or a visa card you can choose one then if you want your gig virtual dollar card to be, have a different color you can choose one this is just for finesse then you click on continue let me just put my name for the purpose of this video let's click on mastercard i'll prefer the black card because i want a black card then you will wallet your wallet will be charged at three dollar for your virtual card creation it is cheap compared to payday payday card was five dollar why this one is three dollar so you choose your your us your accounts choose an account to pay from so if you have a usd account that you have money in if you have a great british pounds account that you have money in if you have a euros account i have money in if you have a naira account i have money in you're going to select it i don't have money in it i was trying to fund it but you can see that it's so showing everything but you can see enter amount in usd if you have your three dollar you can enter it then you see create card but since i don't have i couldn't i can't create a card that's it so that's it about this creating card so if you have your money you can create your card but when you come to home screen you can see if you see add money this is where you can add your money you see add money in usd let's say 50 dollars us dollars and their exchange rate is one usd equals to 1.0 usd equivalent in usd which is um since we are putting 50 let's see what they are going to transfer they didn't put the rate you are about to fund your usd wallet with 50 dollars exchange rates this exchange rate of it see me i don't even trust these people <laughs> i don't trust this if you have your dollar just use your dollar generally i don't trust these people whatever they put there they might go behind the screen and change it and me i don't blame the company i blame the staffs because they are the ones that used to do all these things if you read most of all these their reviews it's the staffs that used to do all these things so if you like it too you can go ahead so when you click on is it pay when you click on proceed you will see this screen that says please ensure that you transfer the funds from your personal bank account to the account number provided here so if you want to create a virtual dollar card and you have a domiciliary account you can take this this thing whatever it is on the screen to your bank and make it direct transfer so if you're in usd this one is what you're seeing on my screen is for those inside us but once you're when you're outside us you click on outside us and everything will change you will see the name the bank the account number the routing number the account type is checking the address everything um then you click if you have sent the money then you click i have sent the phone then 
it's this screen will pop up it might take a few minutes for your funds to get into your bank it will notify you once your wallet has been credited then you go back home so this one is if you're adding money into the app but when, once you want to send money to someone or send money to another of your account this is where you go to you see send money over here bank transfer they always do tr bank transfer i was i wanted i was looking for an app that would do uh, receive pos transfer which is easy in case you're using a virtual dollar card that is not theirs you can add your pos what yeah your, your number and everything but they don't do it add recipients select currency let's say naira um nigeria country account type local bank recipient um, account number bank name if it is zenith you put zenith if it is uba the person's account number um, recipient type should be savings or current the account name the name of the person then you add beneficiary or just send it or you click on done and send it so this one is for naira if you if you have like usd but this one is mainly in naira that you can send Then to convert, let's check their exchange rates. They are saying one dollar, one US dollar is equals to 1,142 Naira. I don't know if, okay, let's see. Let's say we have $50 and want to convert $50 to Naira. Their rate is very, very, very good. If you go to the black market right now, your $50 should be giving you like 55K because their exchange rate is 1,100. Maybe it's due to negotiation or something. But this one is very cheap. It's 57,100 Naira. It is cheap. Let's see from Naira to US. Let's say you have Naira and you want to buy dollar. Let's say 200K. Oh, you cannot convert. Sorry, you cannot convert your local currency to other currencies. Yeah. So this is the bad thing about this one. We cannot convert. Let's change our, our account to Naira. Let's see if we can convert. Naira. USD. 200K. You can still not convert. So this one is for those that have USD account to... If you have a Naira account, I don't know if you can convert to... I don't know. I don't think you can buy dollar with gig pay account. That is what I just noticed right now. I don't think you can buy dollar with gig pay account. So... You can come to accounts and you can create a USD account. Click on, like you can see, this is my own account that I created. In five seconds, I got it. It was created in five seconds. Maybe it's because I'm a new customer or they're just trying to be efficient. You can create a, a Great British Dollar account. Your job details update requ is required for the Great GBP account. That's Great british dollar account so if you are a worker you're a 95 worker this is where you can do this one let's see for the euro virtual bank account your job is also required let's see for the naira nobody needs naira we are, we are all in nigeria we don't need one so they just created a naira account for me credit mobile microfinance bank account i don't see that like if five seconds one seconds two seconds so Account name is Susan, you know, Rainist. Um, the bank is Microfinance Bank. This is my account number. So, this is where you get your invoice for every purchase you've got and everything you have. And yeah, this is everything. So, let me know in case you have any, any question concerning this app. And also, before you download this app, I always advise my viewers to read reviews. Me, I will not give anybody my money that I, I am not seeing positive reviews. I will not. I don't even try it. I see, Nigeria has taught me sense. I will never put my money on any platform except I trust you. And you have I've seen that you have done something for, my, for someone I know that a person has given, oh, this person can do this. I will give you my money. But when it comes to things like this, read review. So when you come, you're in tap for exchange rates. You will see the exchange rate. They are great British pounds. 
they are selling it for 1467 naira 8 kobo and they are buy you are going to buy for 1407 naira 8 kobo they are us dollar they are selling usd for 1170 naira and you are going to buy usd for 1142 naira it is cheap Except there is an hidden thing behind. It is cheap. Maybe they are just trying to ah, let them bring their money. Bring your money. You will not be seeing something lesser. Or you will not be telling that they, um, you want to exchange money with them. Try something that. Try a little amount that you know that if they take do any nonsense, it will not affect you. Okay. Then the euros. They have one thousand two hundred and seventy four naira for kobo. Then for the um if you're if you're buying you're buying at 1254 naira for kobo so this is everything about gig pay accounts let me know if you have any thoughts about it and i'll be here waiting for your 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 questions so when you come to accounts you can put your beneficiaries and the security identification whatever everything you can just go through it's not hard it's really easy in case you need a walkthrough or you need a further assistance let me know my my whatever my i'll be putting my um what's the name of this thing my telegram channel will be on the description you can message me on telegram i'm always there like i'll always respond so have a nice day guys bye